What is a good day, everybody? This is Sports Night News. I'm Jeff Working. This is going to be a video on the New York Yankees getting active, as well as the Minnesota Twins getting active, or staying active, I should say, as the Twins are having a great offseason. I honestly, I like this. I'm surprised by the Twins offseason. I like it, though, that if you're a team that seems to be going for it, seems to be trying to add your guys, even though you were in last place last year, you think you have the guys around Buxton and the catch to and Kane and Maida in the rotation and the catch to be able to push forward this year and then maybe make the playoffs again next year or be a surprise playoff team this year. I, I definitely am all for that. Go for it because adding Gio Yershella and Gary Sanchez is certainly going to help, help the Twins because Sanchez is a more power-hitting catcher, a way more proven power-hitting catcher that can get you the RBIs. Isn't the best fielder, but either was Mitch Garver that can do that. So that works out really well for the Twins. And then on top of that, they also get Gio Urshela at third base and bring in a younger third baseman that can add pop, add gaps hitting, and also feels the position solidly, not as good as Josh Donaldson, who's a very good fielder, but solidly and can play first base for you. So they get Sanchez, they get um, Urshela, and then they also, um, it was for Donaldson and Connor Falefa, plus catcher Ben Wartvet, who is a guy that hasn't figured out how to hit for contact enough yet in the minors, but is only 23 and was a prospect in the twin system. So the Yankees did get a catcher back. They got Higgy Ashioka. Maybe work better win the backup job and Higgy Ashioka to win the catching because he kind of ended up playing more than Gary Sanchez last year. He's kind of had not a falling out, but just kind of become an odd man out with the Yankees just because he hasn't been as good recently. It kind of seemed like it was a good opportunity for him to go to a new setting and kind of get a fresh start. That's what Gary Sanchez is going to get an opportunity to do. Gio Show is going to get an opportunity to still succeed with the Minnesota Twins. And it seems like they're trying to form that bombing Twins team of a few years ago when they were a surprise playoff team and didn't have the sexiest rotation, but had guys that stepped up for them and just had a great lineup. Well, if they can do it, great, because that would be really fun to watch. And then when it comes to the Yankees, we know the Yankees are good at contend. They just got a very good young infielder in Isaiah Connor Falefa, which the Twins smartly did bring on to help them with this trade because they obviously brought him on in the trade that I recapped yesterday. So go check out that video if you want to see the video from the Rangers trade to the Twins involving Connor Falefa. But they then flip him with Ben Wartvet. Um and that's how they're able to get. So the whole trade, again, to recap, the New York Yankees, Minnesota Twins agreed to trade that would send third baseman Josh Donaldson and shortstop Isaiah Connor Falefa and catcher Ben Wartvet to the New York Yankees in exchange for Gary Sanchez and Gio Urshela. So it's a three-for-two trade. Um, I think this trade works out for both teams. I like how the Twins, uh, even though they were in last place last year, they have some good names in their lineup, need to still add to their rotation more behind the Dobnicks and some young catch with the Maidas of the world. But I like how it seems like they're going for it, and that's a nice thing always for not just a fan base, but for baseball fans as a whole to see a team that's committed that wasn't in the sexiest position last year uh, positionally in the standings, but now is really going for it this year, so good for them, and good on the Yankees to realize, finally, which they probably just done a couple years ago, that it was just a good time to move Gary Sanchez, get him into a fresh start, and get something back that will help you for him. They do that, they also send out Gia Yoshello, they get a soft prospect catcher, <coughs> and they get, excuse me, a very good third baseman um, in Josh Donaldson, plus Isaiah Kanafalefa, um, who can play shortstop for you, play other infield positions for you, and also had catching experience, just wasn't the best back there. And again, this has been a recap on the Yankees and Minnesota Twins trade. That was said third baseman Josh Donaldson and Isaiah Kanafalefa, the infielder, plus catcher Ben Wartvet to the Yankees for Gary Sanchez, and also Gio Yoshella, one of the more underrated infielders in the league. Peace out, everybody, and stay safe. And please subscribe down below to help us go to 215 by the end of March.